As COVID restrictions finally lifted earlier this year, St James's Church in Benwell, like many others, were keen to reopen as much as possible. They particularly wanted to open the doors to people in the community new to church, so began developing new inclusive projects founded on a warm and generous welcome. We have many reasons for people to be able to feel welcome here at St James's, because not only do we have the food bank, but we have a lunch club on a Tuesday afternoon, we have um, a cafe on a Monday and you know people can even get down to doing art classes and when they come on a Wednesday if they want a haircut they can get a free haircut and you know to make them feel more confident and more better about themselves as well. My, my role on the morning off food bank is I have to come in make sure everything's all set up uh, they get offered tea, coffee, juice if there's children as well, biscuits, if there's cakes they get offered cakes and we just make sure that everything runs smoothly for them. Whilst volunteering at the food bank, artist Petra Androva was approached by Vicar Chris Minchin with the idea of setting up a creative project as a new way of welcoming those who are lonely and self-isolated into church. No matter how good you are in creativity, you can just sit along and maybe knit something or you can just doodle or you can create masterpiece all it's good it is uh, the fact that everyone can come in and nobody's asked where they're from or who they are what religion they hold on to or what belief they have we all uh, are here the same just humans and we never question anything else than what is their name we welcome them into any project so they can sort of get to know what's going on and feel like it's a second home for them. So if they live on their own, they've got somewhere where they can come and know that they'll be welcome and treated like a church family. People are meeting and uh, making friendships that wouldn't happen. Uh, people from different generations are helping each other and sharing what, what they're up to every day. If someone does live on their own, that could be the only time that they're, one, getting a hot meal, and two, having anyone to talk to for that day. And if we can put a smile on one person's face, then that's one person that we've made a difference to.